macOS Mojave Beta 2 is now released. I'll let you know everything that you need to know about the macOS Mojave and also what you can find in the Beta 2. Is it better? If it's not, if it's worth, know everything about it after the intro. Hi everyone, welcome to MacPack where we unpack your next product and hey, today we're going to talk a little bit longer about the macOS Mojave and what I think if you have to wait a little bit longer, if you want to install, I will leave in the description below the video that you can find on my channel, how to install the macOS Mojave even if you are not a developer, so know everything how to do it on this channel. But right now let's talk about the changes that you will find in this new version of the macOS and if I think that it's worth it to install right now on your computer or not. The first thing that I want to to talk to you guys is basically this dark mode that is much more comfortable to your eyes unfortunately the dynamic I have to tell you guys that is not working until now even if you turn on the localization it don't change so you continue the same so until now in this beta 2 is not working that feature that you can be with the light mode during the day and it becomes night during the night so that is not changing right now but you can choose between the two modes one of the other things that I really like on this one is basically you have more more accent colors the versions that you have before if my memory is good I think it was like blue and red and green maybe and right now you have much more colors but like I show in the other video you can find here a bug so if you choose the color gray it don't change the last color that you choose it will be the one that will appear but when you choose the gray one in the highlight colors it will continue saying the color that you put before so this bug continue there but it's not annoying this one and nothing more about it one of the things that I really like and I think that they should have changed for a long time. Now when you go to the system preference, you have a new tab that is the software updates. So the software updates will not come any longer on your app store. So when you go to the app stores, obviously you have there the updates, but the updates is only related with the apps that you have installed on your computer. So that is a cool feature and you can have everything only in one place when we talk about the updates of your software. Another cool feature that you can find on the macOS Mojave that I really, really enjoy is basically on your dock you have your recent apps that you use and the cool feature is if you have that app kept on your dock it will not appear there so it's only apps that you are using recently so imagine that you are doing a new project in Final Cut Pro but you don't have the Final Cut Pro on your dock so in that case it will appear on your recent apps so I think that is a quite cool feature that you have now available with the macOS Mojave another cool feature that you will find obviously on your macOS is basically when you go to the app store it will be just in 2000 2019 so you have to wait a while for this one you'll be able to install apps from iOS don't forget that in the end of this video I will show you what has changed in the beta 2 compared to the beta 1 another thing that we can find is already some new apps available on the macOS Mojave that I really really like and the one that I like the most to be honest is the new Apple news that is something that I really really enjoy because you can put by categories and you can put the ones that you enjoy the most it looks quite quite cool Another cool app that you have available on your macOS Mojave that I don't use to be honest is basically the app home. So what you can do with that is basically you can connect your Apple TV, your home pod or other devices like lights. They are compatible with this new app. You are able to control them through the app and through Siri. Unfortunately, the lights that I use here, the intelligent lights that I have at home from Xiaomi, I can't connect those lights with my computer. I would like to see that working, but unfortunately it's not possible at least for now maybe Apple will open the possibilities to connect with the other companies like Xiaomi but I doubt that will happen because Xiaomi it's becoming one of the most interesting companies in the markets right now let me know in the comments below what you think about it and if you have some products from Xiaomi it's just to let you know that you have this available if you have Apple TVs or iPads or other things you can control through this new app so the other one is basically the stocks you can view the stock quotes the interactive chat top news related with the market you can read beautiful format stories from Apple News let me know also if you have already tried to use it in my case it's not so interesting but I'm sure that for few of you guys it's quite interesting to have this new app from Apple another cool feature that you have on your macOS Mojave beta 2 is basically the voice memos but unfortunately there is a big big bug you are not able to delete the file that you don't want there so when you record something it stays there the only thing that you can do is 
basically you press edit and you can replace it even on the top part you don't have the option to delete the file that is there so it's quite quite annoying let me know in the comments below if you find a way to do it but at least I don't see any option to delete the file that I record directly through the voice memos if you find a way to do it let me know in the comments below another feature that you have with the Mac OS Mojave that is available also from the beta 1 and the beta 2 is basically when you go to the finder you can see the files for example the photos in a different different way you can see on the bottom you can scroll between files that you have available and when you open one you can see more information on the side so for example you can see even with which device you take that photo so I can see that in this case I take this photo with a Samsung and I can see that the device mode is the SM and 150F you can see also the aperture that I use so all this information is much more easy to access if you are a photographer for example and you want to know what exposure that you use it to take that photo you can see automatically all the information on the sides with this new feature available with the Mac OS Mojave by the way once again don't forget that in the end I will show you what have changed and I will let you know if I think that you have to install or not maybe yes maybe not but you will know after why another feature that you have on the Mac OS Mojave is the quick view is much much more improved than before so right now you can go directly there and you don't need a third party to for example rotate a photo to sign a document or for example if you open another file that is like a video sound that you record you can trim that one automatically so that is a cool feature that you don't have to install anything more on your computer so I think that was a good good improvement there are another one that I would love to see but I'll let you know in a minute the cool feature that I'm talking to you guys is related with the new command alt 5 when you do that you open on the bottom a new section that lets you capture the entire screen a part of the screen or record your screen but when you do that it don't record the sound of your screen so imagine I'm recording the screen but I want with the internal microphone to record what I'm saying right now so when I'm editing I can basically synchronize better those two videos so I'm filming right now and imagine that I'm recording the entire screen of my computer I'll be able to put them on top of each other and after I just have to cut the parts that I don't want and that's it the next thing that I have to show you guys that I really really like is finally finally app has changed the look of the app store so that old look is gone and now you can see discover create work play developer categories updates and the updates they are only for the apps like I said in the beginning that is a good improvement because it never makes any sense that the updates of your system was on the app store app store system don't match that's why I'm saying that I think that it was a good improvement and the look I really really enjoy and imagine that you are into games you don't want to see work apps there and that is something that I like a lot that it changed on the beta too but I will let you know in the end of the video also if you go to Safari maybe you remember if you have one two three four five tabs open basically the tabs was small you have one two three four but now basically imagine you open a website and I open another tab and now you can see that now the tabs they are divided in two so they are not all pushed from one side so every single time that I open a new one it gets smaller but I have more space for each one it's not a massive change on the Safari but it's slightly better at least on the tabs that is something that I like let me know in the comments below what you think about the tabs of the Safari yeah but let's now talk about the beta 2 so now you can see here that every single time that you change the size of the window he adjust the size of the icons and all the information that you have there so that is a cool cool feature so it's adjustable if you open Safari and you do that you can see that also this one will change so that is a big big improvement from Apple I think that is a good thing that you can find there because many times you have a small window in the side and you are doing something else in the same time and you want to shrink down and many times you had to basically scroll down scroll to the sides and do all the stuff that are now they are gone so that is a good improvement very good for the beta 2 version so that was one of the features that I found on the beta 2 version 
Another thing that I noticed, but it's me that I'm obsessed with details, maybe you don't notice. If you go to system preference and you open desktop and screen savers, you'll be able to see that when you choose different types of photos to put on your desktop, it will change slightly the color of the gray there. So the gray is slightly more green or more pink. Whatever is the, the one that you choose is change slightly the color of the tab. So if you look even in the top part where it's saying desktop and screen saver, it changed slightly the color. Notice and let me know in the comments below if you checked that before or if you just noticed now that I'm saying it. But the big question and the big answer is what I think about the macOS Mojave. Do you think that it's a good idea to install the beta version 2 right now in the, your computer? And my answer is really really simple. If it's your main computer and you have to rely in other apps to do some stuff like Final Cut Pro, no. Don't install right now the beta version, wait a bit longer. Besides that, the macOS Mojave has been amazing. So with the new version, so with the new update, it works flawlessly. I don't have any issues besides all the bugs that I have with Final Cut Pro. And remember, now with the macOS Mojave, they are doing the switch between 32 bits to 64 bits. And that is something that is giving me some problems with Final Cut Pro. So they are saying that they're going to release a new version, so the 10.4.4 for Final Cut Pro I found online recently and maybe that will resolve the problems that I have but it's just to let you know that right now is not the moment so if it's your main computer don't do it if you want just to go online to use Word to do those kind of things I would swap right now for the macOS Mojave better too but if you rely on other apps to do other stuffs with your computer don't install right now wait a bit longer until now I don't have done the downgrade once again to High Sierra because I know you guys are interested to know what is happening with the macOS Mojave in this beta version so that's why I'm doing and I'm struggling to maintain the macOS Mojave in my computer if soon I will be picking a new iMac Pro to do these videos for you guys because you guys are really important to me this channel is really really important to me is my main objective in life is one day to be able to do just these videos for you guys and do this professionally but unfortunately for now I have to continue to have my own work to pay my bills and do this in the side and obviously the channel is for now is too too small to only be here working for you guys it will be amazing but unfortunately that is just a dream if i will stick with this version on my macbook pro i will let you know what have changed with the beta 3 but for now the experience was really really good but the experience with final cut is a disaster it's horrible it makes me completely stressed obviously my computer is already a little bit old it's from 2012 but it's been not the best experience okay so it's just to let you know that hey what you think about the mac os mojave beta 2 you think that the change and the updates that they have done in this new version is enough for you to change for the new mac os mojave or you want to wait until september let me know in the comments below before you go don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you don't have subscribed until now please share this video with your family and friends comment below smash the thumbs up and like i said in all the videos you already know the answer i See you in the next one. Another cool app that you have avail available, available. Come on, come on, it's not so difficult.